Hello, and welcome back to Bees and Tea Stitching. I am Tina, as usual, and we have Selena back here. She's being her kitty self, and um, she has made a blanket in one of my blankets. So she will apparently be joining us for at least a while. All right, so hi again. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. So this is... Um, I had a few, I had some great comments this week, actually. I had, some, I had like a lot of people commenting, which is great. I love it. So please, please, please keep it up. Um, so Justine Stitching, um, who is apparently from England, which is awesome, um, was talking about tea. She was kind of telling me about a few different uh, types of tea over there, which was really cool. Um, and she talked about twining. So I decided, I've got... This is a twining, um, it's supposed to be an extra bold Earl Grey. So let me try it and see how it is. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. That is pretty bold. That's good for just one uh, tea bag. Mmm. Oh, that's, that's good. All right, well, that's going to definitely be on my list to find again. And I had mentioned to her... Uh, um, that I had gone to Disney, and Disney, uh, well, Disney World in Florida, I should say, and, um, Disney World has Epcot, which has a whole bunch of different countries, um, including, which is really cool, they have, they try as hard as they can to get people from that country, uh, to actually work there, so they'll get them on, like, a, um, like a work visa, which is neat, um, and so, of course, there's in England, and, you know, everything is overpriced there. So I got this cute little box, and I don't, unfortunately, I don't remember how much it was, but you got the box, and then you put, uh, was it 10? One, two, three, four. Yep. Uh, you put 10 tea bags in it. Um, and wow, it just broke. Oh, good. Anyway, but, um, so I got, uh, two, let's see. I got an Earl Grey, I got an Earl Grey Bold, Oolong, which I've never tried, uh, Darjeeling, which I've never tried, and also, um, Ceylon Orange Pico, which, uh, again, I've never tried, but I don't think it actually tastes like orange, does it? I don't know, I don't know. And, unfortunately, the hinge just came off, so I'll have to see if I can fix that. Mm. But anyway, but so it's a cute little box if I can fix it. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that, uh, Justine, if you wanted to, uh, if you're kind of curious. Um, I don't know if I have any other twinings in my cabinet. I'll have to check. Um, I don't think I do. It's like, um, it's not hard to find here in the U.S., um, but I don't know. It's mostly going to be those really basic sort of flavors that you find. So I don't know that I'll be able to find my, um, the bold Earl Grey. I might have to do some searching, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's my, um, that's my tea of the week. Um, so personal life. Um, really not much going on. It's still been busy at work. Um, so that's mostly what I've been doing. I, I have got my stitchy bug back a bit. It was kind of meh for a while. Um, but I think, um, I think I'm back. I think I'm good. So that's the, oh, and, um, it's, this is a piece of tape. Um, when I sew, I push the needle into my, I kind of push it against my finger and it makes this little indent, which hurts after a while. So that's why I have this. If you're wondering why my why my uh, ring finger is green. So, it's not easy being green. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, nothing really personal coming up. Everything's pretty pretty much the same here. Just kind of moseying along. You know. Trying to keep the cat sane. Oh, wait, no. Wow, she's giving me this look now. Alright, anyway. Uh, so that's about that. Um... Um, uh, mail call, uh, actually there were a couple of, uh, comments, not, not emails, but comments that I wanted to, um, uh, uh, talk about. The first one was Justine. I, I had already, um, you know, said that, uh, I already talked to her about the tea a little bit. 
Um, Healing Gamer asked, what do you wish you'd known about cross-stitching before you started? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, that's kind of hard to answer. I'm not 100% sure, I guess. The best thing I can think of is maybe that I wish I'd been shown how to how to actually keep the tension in my stitches a little bit better. Because, um, you know, you've, I've really taught myself. And, um, you know, when you do that, you start into bad habits. And then it's really, really hard to break them. Uh, so that's the only thing I could think of off the top of my head. And maybe, maybe also I didn't answer this part, but maybe the fact that there were so many types of fabrics and threads out there, because, I mean, it's good to start on DMC. It's a really good, nice base to start, but, um, I didn't know about other, other fabrics and threads for a very long time. So, you know, I guess those two things. Um, and Nadine... Uh, Nad's X stitch, I guess it is. Sorry, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, they were asking, uh, she was asking, what, uh, what black did I order from the UK? It finally came! Yay! So, I know this is kind of haul as well, um, but, um, and the, just, she was so nice, and I cannot say enough good stuff about the, uh, the person, but it is a Madeira Moulin. I kind of put them all together here and it's um they don't do it by uh name they do it by number so this is 2400 uh which is black and i've heard from a few different people um that it has better coverage i mean it just it's a regular cotton six sorry got cat fur on there uh regular cotton um six string um uh, you know uh, thread um but it's supposed and it's it feels a little coarser maybe than dmc but i mean it looks it looks the same it's you know so the six strands um no i so i had six i ordered six of them and i've already bobbinated them up um so i have not gotten to try it yet so uh, as soon as i do i will definitely call back um um like you know tell you guys what's going on it might not be for a while though and that that will be because of plans so i'll get to that um so yeah that that's the answer to that one and um so i'm really interested to see whether it gives better coverage some people said that anchor black gives better coverage at least for my stitching i didn't really notice a difference so um again this may go back to my bad habits about how i stitch so it, that may not be the case for everybody Hold on. Mm. oh my god that is that extra bolt is really good mm. wow anyway um so that's that's pretty much it for uh mail call and that's kind of that's kind of mail call and q a together uh new starts i've got a new start which also kind of goes into um it also kind of goes into plans so let me move all this good stuff it's a Garon Toten bag. The butterflies. I'm not I'm not really into all sorts of girly stuff, but I do like the kind of the black and the purple and the blue of the butterflies. So it's pretty. Anyway, and butterflies. Come on, they're kind of neat. Um, let me. All right. If I may, I'm going to try something really quickly here, and I apologize for this. Um, and I am I am very very sorry about this. I did not um, I did not actually do this to um, I did I forgot to do this before, so I do apologize about being quiet for a sec. So let me see if I can actually do this so I can show you a picture. Alright, so. Now let's see if I can show this to you here. Make this as big as I can. There we go. Oh, it's it's glaring bad. Oof, come on now. Uh, okay, well, I apologize. That may be about the best I can do. Uh, it's called Smog Homes. Um, so it's a mix of, um, smog, of course, from, uh, uh, 
the Hobbit and uh, Sherlock Holmes. Um, both of which were played by the same character. Or the same character. Wow. wow. The same actor, um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, who is an amazing actor. Um, also, and I might I need to put this in my links as well, um, the National Theatre of London is um, they're doing they're reshowing some of their uh, plays um, while everybody is you know home and not able to go see you know not able to go to the theater um, and they're showing a different one every week this week they're actually showing um, Frankenstein which is really neat because what it is is that um, it's uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and also Johnny Lee Miller who was oddly enough Sherlock in elementary here in the U.S., so to Sherlock Holmes. Um, and one of them plays the creature, and one of them plays Victor Frankenstein, but they switch every night, so they both have to know both roles, like, intimately. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. And um, so what they're doing is uh, they're actually showing one version of each, um, one version of... of cover batch as the creature and one version of uh, Miller as a creature and they're both really worth watching it's it's not a traditional Frankenstein story it does go by the story but it's um it's kind of a I don't want to say a modern take because it's still set you know back then but it's the sets are minimalistic and the story kind of goes its own way even though it, it still tells the story um and I have a bad feeling I'm, I'm not doing any justice, but you really, really have to watch it. I mean, it doesn't matter which version you watch. They're both really good. Um, so, and they're two hours. It's not too bad. It's no, no worse than watching a movie. Um, but I would highly, highly recommend it. And I will put a link in because it's, they're absolutely worth watching. Um, it, they're really neat. Um, so, anyway, so, um... I'm doing Smog Homes, um, just because, you know, I like both, and so, uh, you know, my inner nerd saw this, and I was like, <gasps> so this is from, uh, this is from Etsy, and it was a Maria Bravko, so, uh, they're a, um, uh, Russian, uh, or, or somewhere it's it's in Cyrillic, so um, somewhere around those Baltic companies, uh, com Baltic countries. I can speak really, I swear. Um, but uh, she is on Etsy, and I will try to. Uh, I'll link her as well. Um, so um, that was. Uh, let me pull it up one more time here, just so I, since I've been talking for a minute. So sorry, I can't get a better picture of that. Ah, my camera is not cooperating. But you get the general idea. It's smog with a um, with a blue scarf smoking a pipe. So uh, this is what I've got so far. And this is the kind, for some reason, Russian, um, uh, with Russian patterns, they really like doing a, a very specific type of back stitch where all the stitches are are whole stitches, but it's kind of hard to see. But the back stitches will kind of make curves and make halves and things like that. Um, so it's it's a little hard to explain, but if you've seen a couple of patterns, you know what I'm talking about. So they have a very, very specific type of back stitch, which really, it really kind of pulls out the piece. It really uh, makes it stand out, which is nice. Um, the interesting thing about this is, um, and you can kind of see it here a little bit better, a lot of these, now all these blue and some of this gray are half stitches, and some of them are also blends. So, I mean, I've done half stitches before. Actually, no, I don't think I have done half stitches before, but, um, so I'm doing half stitches and I'm doing blends, um, and I'm doing half stitch blends, <laughs> and then I'm also doing the, um, the, um, Backstitch, and the problem is, oh, hi, cat. You leaving me? All right, well, my cat's leaving me. Um, and I'm not focusing. Come on, focus. Uh, that's a pain in the butt. Um, come on, focus. 
Alright. Um, sorry, I apologize about my, my terrible camera. Uh, it, it should focus in a sec, I hope. Um, but the, um, the neat thing is that, um, I, there's a lot of backstitch. Um, and so I was like, well, I don't really want to, um, wait until the very end to do all the backstitch. Um, so I started doing it, then I, fi then I figured out, wait, I've got some more stuff around it. So I'm going to have to be very careful about how and when I do the backstitching, um, because I want to get it done. I don't want to wait till the end because if I wait till the end and do all the backstitch, it's going to drive me crazy. Uh, I just don't want to do that. Um, but I have to be very careful about making sure that I don't do the backstitch until I have everything around it stitched. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, but I mean, it's been really fun so far. And those, I tell you what, man, those half stitches go fast. I didn't realize how fast they went. Because that, that blue, I did, I did all of them in the knee, like last night, actually. Uh, so, you know, that was, uh, that was kind of nice. Um, alright, so, for, that's New Stars. Uh, works in progress. The only other thing that I've worked on, and that was only a little bit, was my, um, okay. My very crooked thread there, um, was the uh, Plague Doctor. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, so this is all of the black on the hat done. Uh, obviously there's a lot more to go in there. Um, uh, and that's 310. And again, uh, from here, the coverage looks okay. But if you look at it up front, it's, oh, all right. Not the worst I've done. Um, there are empty spaces here in the circle. Um, that have other colors. So this is all 310 as well. And of course, this is well before I got that Moline, so I can't change over, sadly. Um, and so um, that the 310 is done in the hat. I mean, there's still a lot more to go. It's it's a very, it's, you've got the hat, then you've got the whole head. So um, it's still, you know, still a lot more to go, but it's, it was one little hurdle over. Um, so yeah, that's, that's actually all I've done so far this week. Um, so, um, that, um, I, I'm kind of focusing in on one or two things, or I, I was focusing on one or two things. Uh, so, um, you know, I didn't really spread my, spread my work over. Um, finished objects. I do actually have a finished object. Um, so... I hesitate to show you because, uh, again, this is for an exchange, but, uh, I will show you part of it. Actually, no, no okay, that's going to be too bright. Uh, so this is part of it. And this is 53, I believe it is, the variegated DMC. Uh, nice, um, gray, dark, gray, black, uh, Actually, is it even? Yeah, it gets it gets to almost black, pretty much three ten, in just a few places. Um, but yeah, it's it doesn't look like much, but there is more to it. Um, that's all I'll say. Um, but um, so that was it was a fun stitch, and um, it didn't take all that long. It I could have got it done a lot faster, um, but I was distracted by other things, so. It took uh, it took longer than it needed to. So now I just need to finish it, and um, and then I'll have that main part done for that exchange. So uh, that's that hard part done, which is nice. Um, so that's finished. Um, I probably will not show that when it's fully finished. What I'll probably end up doing is taking a picture of it, and then um, once the exchange has been done, um, then I'll go ahead and I'll show that picture of it. So that's probably the way I'll do it. Um, all right. So plans, uh, will go into, um, really the only plans I have have to do with mania. Um, so I was talking about doing either a monogamania or that stitch sania. So I think what I've decided is because I have this, um, smog homes and I really, really want to do it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try 
um, at least for the first 20 days, because, you know, that's kind of how Stitch Mania works, uh, to work on that only. Um, now, this plans could change. You know, that's what happens. And I'm, if they do, they do. I'm not worried about it. You know, that's, that's okay if I decide that, you know, uh, I don't want to do that anymore. But at least for right now, that's the plan, is to work just on that small combs. <clears throat> Sorry, gotta get some tea. God, that's good. Oof. Okay. Anyway, um, so that's that's really the only plan I have. Um, so um, yeah, well, we'll see. You know, we'll see next week if that uh, if that stays. I think it will though, because so far, um, despite having a few minor issues with it. Uh, a little bit of frogging and some issues with the back stitch. Um, you know, it's it's been really really fun and it's coming along. I mean, it's still got a good way to go, but it's not a huge project. I want to say it's um, what is it like, one ten by one thirty or something of that sort. Oops, no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. So it's not it's not huge or anything. It is. Oops, no, you didn't see you didn't see that. That wasn't a pattern. Uh, 109 by 152. So, well, if, honestly, if you can catch anything by that tiny bit that I saw, then more power to you. But yeah, it's 109 by 152, so it's not that big. Alright, so, um, haul or retail therapy. So, I'm actually kind of, um, going back a little bit for stuff I didn't show before, because I had forgotten to take it out. So, um... I did already show you the Moline, um, so that was, um, um, you know, that was one thing. Um, also, I had mentioned, I did not grab them, the Crazy Annie's Stitching. Um, I have, um, uh, I get six threads every, uh, every month, and unfortunately, I had forgotten to pull them out, so I do apologize, I won't... I won't be able to show those, um, but um, they are six classic color works, I believe. Um, so I do apologize for that, but I will try to show you everything else. Um, but I do also get uh, Fortnite fabrics, and this okay, this light might actually help a little bit. Uh, there we go. Actually, yeah, that's not too bad. So let me. I apologize for the crinkling. I know. Somewhere out there, Gary is, is gritting his teeth. Um, so this one is called... This is These are all by Fortnite. Um, so I've been in the uh, Fabric of the Month. Oh, um, I forgot. I apologize. The one that I'm doing the um, smog on, it was not labeled, but they did not... Uh, Fortnite did not label the first month, I believe, um, because they were still kind of getting things going, which is understandable. Um, so I am 99% sure that the fabric that Smog is on is the January uh, Fortnite fabrics. Uh, I don't remember its name, unfortunately, because it was not labeled. Um, so, um, you know, uh, that's, um, so, but I'm 98% I'm sure that that's, that's what that is. All right. So, and I don't remember which month is which, but, um, there is, this one does not actually have a name. This is just a, um, kind of a, a dark blue. Is that, uh, yeah, that's showing pretty good. It's kind of a dark blue steely gray. That's, that's right about true to color there. It almost looks a little greener here, but it's actually not. It's like a blue gray. It's got a really pretty modeling. This is 18 eight, I believe. Yeah, 18 count eight. I believe these are all, yeah, these are all 18 count eight, which is, which is good. That's always Always nice. It's kind of been my um, my go-to. And this is called Stinkhorn. Um, they're all... I forgot to say that all... They have two... Um, um, two things that they're doing. You can either be in the neutral or you can be in the colorful. Um, I am in the neutral, even though... Even with that blue. Um, and they're naming them all after um, mushrooms. So that's why they have kind of odd names. Uh, this one is Stinkhorn. Um, it's almost showing a little bit more gold there, but it's really kind of a kind of a greeny brown. Uh, I can't really get it. 
all that true to color. And it's a little less model, which is fine. It's you can see some kind of subtle modeling over over here. Uh, especially yeah, over here where my hand is. Um but yeah, it's kind of nice. It's a little bit more subtle. Um, kind of a kind of a murky browny green, sort of. Um, oh, there's a color that it reminds me of. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, I don't remember. But not veld. Anyway, I, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's kind of a greeny brown. And then this one, I'm really looking forward to using. It's almost kind of a a stony brown. Uh, it's called a ranchero. That's pretty close, actually. And this is actually very modeled. I believe this was the newest one. I think I just got this one. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of modeling in that. Um, so, that is... Um, that is good. Sorry. I apologize. My cat is clawing at something. And now she's giving me a look like she thinks, you know, that I'm doing something wrong by telling her not to claw the chair but cats but anyway so yeah that's really cool i do like those and i'm i've i've never been disappointed i've always liked the stuff that they've um that they've sent uh i just haven't had much of a chance to use it unfortunately uh until until smog uh smog i did start may 1st so um you know so i did get that started at the beginning of may for um um uh, for mania. Um, all right. So that's plants, retail therapy. Ah, floss tuber of the week. So, um, this week and I can't, I don't know why I did not, uh, have not said her yet. Um, Michelle, uh, Bendy Stitchy, who is just, I, I don't even know how to explain her. She's just the absolute nicest person. I mean, she really, really is. Um, I mean, she raises money for charity. She um, she's very generous about giving charts away. Um, just very generous in general. Um, and um, you know, she she works as a as a nurse, and that's just you know that in itself is is pretty amazing. Um, so, and I mean, obviously, and not only is she a stitcher, but she's also a designer now, um, and. So uh, unfortunately, I have not had a chance to um, uh, to start any of her stuff yet. But there's a few I definitely want to get. Um, I do have the one. I only have one so far, um, and I have it as a PDF, unfortunately. Um, but it was a reference to um, a line that Dumbledore says in um, in one of the Harry Potter movies, um, where it's like I believe it's it's something to the effect of. Um, um, you have to choose between what's easy and what's right. Um, something of that sort. And it's, so it's kind of like a sign that has like easy one way and right the other. And I think it says you must choose underneath it. I really like it. It's, you know, really, it, it's very meaningful. Um, so yeah, I mean, she's just, I can't gush about her enough. She's just awesome. Um, so definitely, definitely go watch her. Um, she's got a bunch of videos. She does Stitch With Me's. Um, she does knit with me, so I forgot she knits as well. Um, and I really want to see how that chewy bandolier is. You know, my nerdy Star Wars heart wants to, um, is anxious to see how that looks. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> kind of makes me wish I could knit, but I'm, nah. I, I don't think I have hand-eye coordination for that, so I think I'm just going to leave that to the professionals. But, uh, yeah, definitely go watch her. I will give her a, um, uh, I'll put a link down here. Um, so, uh, you can, you can take a look at her, um, uh, and just, you know, take in the awesomeness for yourself. Yeah. Um, for my, uh, for my stitching and non-stitching website, I'm kind of, kind of cheat, um, and use the same for both, uh, which is going to be Etsy.com because there's, you can, get almost, it seems like you can get almost anything on Etsy. Anything that someone can can make or put together or, or anything really. Um or supplies even. Uh Etsy just has has it all. Um and that is including definitely some very, very good uh cross stitch patterns, uh cross stitchers, 
um, crusted supplies. You know, I've gotten patterns there. I've gotten floss there. Um, I have gotten um, uh, bags there. So, I mean, I've gotten um, needle minders. Lots of needle minders there. So, I mean, and you can also find non cross stitch stuff. You know, I've also got, um, um, I got some stickers from there. I got a t-shirt or two from there. So, um, you know, it's really a little bit of everything. Um, so Etsy is definitely worth uh, looking at. So you can, um, and actually Michelle Bendy does have an Etsy, I believe. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, um, Etsy is definitely worth looking at if you're looking for something in particular. So, um, I'll use that for both. Um, the random B fact of the week. So, um, all worker bees are female. There you go. Um, and of course you've got the queen, um, in the middle, but, um, you know, so I think the males are only the drones, I believe. Anyway, that might be another fact for another day. But anyway, so uh, that's random B fact. Um, I think that's really about it. Um, can't think of anything. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and let me see something here. Um, wow. I'm at 97 subscribers. Wow. Okay. I was not actually expecting that. Um, so maybe next week if I have a hundred, which could happen, uh, maybe I can try to do a little something, um, find a little something to, uh, to give away. Oh, hold on. Ah, so good. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do a hundred, hundred subscriber giveaway. Uh, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, this is kind of unplanned right now because I honestly did not know I actually had that many subscribers. Wow. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, hopefully you guys are, uh, I'm interesting enough that you want to stick around and keep watching. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let me see what I can plan this week and, um, I will definitely, um, um, you know, tell you a little bit more next week and again i i forgot to say at the beginning here i do apologize i'm going on sunday instead of saturday um for right now with mine and my husband's odd uh schedules it may be a saturday or a sunday when i update i i can't seem i want to do it on saturday but i can't seem to get it there consistently so uh for right now i'll say that i'll update either saturdays or sundays uh, until I can get a little bit more, um, get a little bit more of a regular schedule going. Um, but I think that's about it. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching again. I, I always appreciate every one of you guys. I love all of your comments and I'm sorry that I took a while to, um, to respond. I didn't respond to them this morning. Um, because this, again, this week has been a little crazy with work. Um, but I will get to them. I do promise. Uh, I will respond to everybody. Uh, whether it's just a short message or, you know, or a response. Um, but I guess that's about it. So, um, from my cat who is staring at me evilly. Um, and from my tea, which is getting gone. And all my stitching and everything. Uh, I will see all you guys later. Bye.